Okay, this is Brad from Brad Tech Online, and I am testing the new Avast 5. I did a test on 4.7, but had some people want to uh, for me to test the new 5 right here. I just got the build off of this. Looks like it's the newest one out right now. Um, follow the link here and downloaded it. The 5.0.160 build. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, See if I all I can install here. It's got a behavior shield, which is great because you gotta have something like that put in um, to detect uh, executables at launch that behave in a certain predefined way that all of the uh, fake AVs do. You know, like something that would, uh, for example, detect uh, program installing to uh, the documents and settings, uh, all users' application application data. Uh, folder. I've seen all the fake AVs do that pretty much. And I'm going ahead and showing you the install for this. I usually don't show the install. I'm going to go ahead and pause while I do a restart. Looks like we got some kind of error right here while I was doing a reboot. Uh, since this is a beta, I kind of expect certain things to mess up like that. Okay, we're back up and uh, here we are, we're back up in here and uh, just started back up. Let's see what's going on. Looks like all the shields are off. It's going to go through here and probably turn them on and go out and try to. I... What the hell? I just had some woman talking to me. That's kind of stupid. I don't like voices coming across my headphones telling me just pop up and say something. Uh, let's see what I can max out here. Uh, I'm going to have it scan all packers. Sensitivity, let's turn it to high. Um, Scan for un unwanted programs, turn that on. Um, port file, I guess this is where I can upload stuff to them. Behavior shield, networking behavior shield is the only other two things that I'm really going to, well, web shield. Uh, let's turn on the expert settings here. Uh, scan all files. Um, I don't want to exclude anything. We're going to abort the connection. That's fine. All packers is checked. Turn the sensitivity up to high. Uh, network shield. I don't see any settings here for that. Behavior shield. Do not see any settings for that either. Before I start throwing some stuff at it, let's. Uh, Go back and just double check, make sure it is updated. It's got a gaming mode, kind of like uh, Symantec put out with their Norton line in 2009, the Gamer Edition, which I did try and it was okay. Looks like we're getting some downloads. It already, oh, it's already up to date. Okay. Alrighty now, let's uh, pop some of this stuff up. As you can tell, I've been testing this all day. And whatever, whenever this bad boy gets installed, it really just destroys everything. The only thing that's really stopped it today, I tested Twister, uh, Immunet Protect, and F-Secure, and the only thing that has stopped it was Twister. And it looks like it did detect Avast did detect it. Um, that's really good. Woman's voice came over and told me a threat had been detected. This may be a dead link right here. Okay. 
threat has been detected. So we're two for two on stuff that has been released today. This is all the stuff I'm posting here is, you know, brand new stuff just released a couple hours ago. My ESET detected that, you see right here. I gotta go back and turn it off, I enabled it. This is, ESET is running on my uh, host. Avast didn't detect it though. Probably gonna have to re-download it. Crap, hang on a second. Okay. Okay, he sets one of me to in okay. I had forgotten so you guys can have that. Z men get on it. Okay. Threat has been detected. So it looks like it detected that threat. Let's give Trust Fighter a chance to get on the machine. Not getting any woman talking to me, so looks like it's getting through so far. Unless their behavior guard is going to kick in. Nope. It's on them. Got on here. It is running. What do you recommend me to do? No. So we got one threat that got by. I've not really seen any processes running though that are just kind of a naggy. Okay. That let me download, but it didn't do anything. Let's see what happens here. some DLL file. This is probably some configuration file. It alone probably wasn't, it wouldn't do anything unless I installed it into the right directory and it had its host running. I just upload, paused and uploaded that uh, DLL file, and here are the companies that are that are detecting it: uh, Doctor Web, Usafe, Fortinet, uh, K7, of course Artemis. MacFuth Artemis is like always detecting everything. Um, Not32, uh, Panda, Previx, Symantec actually. Uh, it's right now. It's getting past Avast and Anivir and Bit Defender. Okay. Looks like this list is almost done with. Looks like this is maybe going to get through also.